Hi, I'm Clara, and I'm going to be doing my informative speech. And here is my class. Yay! Seven people exactly. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. Here's my speech. I can't wait. Mom and Dad, Dad said we're going to Grandma's. Grandma's house is so much fun. The memories flow even when I just think of her house. She always makes fresh chocolate chip cookies that I can smell as I walk up her front porch. The smooth piano mu music she has playing in the dining room, I can hear as I open up the door. And when she hugs me, I nuzzle into her soft sweater and smell grandma. It's not her perfume nor her fabric softener. It's grandma. That smell I can remember is what grandma has always smelled like. What is it? I've never been able to figure it out until now. That smell is actually a smell that's common with a lot of grandmas and grandpas. It's a chemical called tunanale, which is produced by our skin when humans grow older, releasing a, what we all know as a smell known as old person smell. Don't fret though. Thanks to hardworking scientists, there is something that you can do about it. As we all age, whether you are male or female, our bodies go through quite a bit of change. Our body's changes can be noticed by most of our senses, from the way we look, to the way we feel, the way we sound, and even the way we smell. In 2001, the Journal of Investigative, Investigative Dermatology published an article named Tuna Nail, newly found in human body odor, tends to increase with aging. Written by seven Japanese scientists, Gozi Yoko, Shaniro Hazi, Yoko Yuki Kaneho, uh, Shaji Nukamura, Hideaki Ota, and Kayoki Sawano, and also Kenozo Yakazazi. Yakazazi, sorry about that, <laughs> proving that as we age, there is a rise in a chemical named tunanale on our skin surface that we can smell. They found that after the age of 40, our skin's antioxidants that are usually found on the surfaces of our skin, um, it degrades. Um, the antioxidants have a key role in our skin's youth and vitality, and they the antioxidants are nutrients and enzymes that can help us prevent, help prevent and repair damage to your body's tissue. As our skin matures, the oils that our skin naturally releases is usually broken down by these antioxidants. Um, with those antioxidants not being as abundant, the oils are released and they sit on the top of our skin and they oxidize. And that's what actually gives us our old person smell. Now, one may ask why um, ask why can this be any useful information to me or in science in general, uh, besides having a complex about being a sneaky old person. Our bodies may be telling us something. Um, an article by the name of the Special Scent of Age was actually about a study performed at the Montreal Chemical Census Center in 2012. The MCSC is the world's only independent nonprofit um, scientific institute that studies the senses of taste and smell. Johan Lundström, a Swedish sensory neuro neuroscientist who conducted this study, wanted to see if one could pick out scents on different age ranges. They took the three age groups of people from teens to middle age to elderly. Nursing pads were sewn underneath the armpits of the groups, and then after they were done sweating, they sealed them in bags. From those bags, um, they, uh, they had people smell them, and they, could, they picked out the elderly, uh, elderly scent right off the bat. Uh, they described it as a calming scent, where the other scents were more of a strong, unpleasant odor. Lundström also noted that similar to other animals, humans may extract signals from body odors that allow us to identify biological age, avoid sick individuals, pick a suitable partner, and distinguish kin from non-kin. Kin. If you think about it, um, when the age of this is all occurring around the age of 40, females are actually starting to possibly go through menopause. So it might be a, a key for males not to... Uh, be able to mate with that person. Um, 
The fun fact is in Japan, males are actually in more of an uproar about the scent phenomenon than women are. They even have an old, a name for old man smell called Kerushi. <laughs> the market for making one smell and look youthful is a multi-billion dollar corporation, especially in Japan. Scientists in the research center at a leading skincare company called Jishado are actually the ones who have pinpointed exactly where the scent originates from. In 2015, an article published by Grace Gold, a health and beauty journalist, that has published in Today Magazine and also DrOz.com, named uh, an article, Do You Smell Old? And in her publication spoke of the scientists discovering that it is an actual, um, it's actually happen, happening and it's an easy thing to fix. Um, through the scientists' hard, hard work, they have found that the extract from persimmon fruits Eliminates the buildup of those stinky oils on your skin surface and things that you can do to alleviate um, the scent also includes persimmon soaps that you can buy. They range about $20 a bar. Um, deodorant sticks and actually deodorant suits in Japan. So, in aging, aging is inevitable. We are going to face the possible speed bumps with growing old. So why not be proactive? Now that we know what causes the old person smell, we can stop it before it begins. Thanks to the hard work of the scientists that are helping us daily in our everyday issues, we can now be that loving grandparent that may look old, feel old, sound old, but you sure won't smell old. Thank you.